I actually was a people pleaser. I was told this in the very first class. And then now I started to say no to people. I also understood that being aggressive is different from be being assertive. In 2018, IIT Madras launched an elective course on happiness, which has been extremely successful since then. IIT Madras now plans to make it a core course and this will require many IITM alumni to consider being course facilitators. This is a film on what is the happiness course about and why alumni should consider becoming facilitators. I did not expect anything out of this course. I actually didn't know what to expect from this course because it's completely different from all the courses that we've done in the institute so far. This is a, a very non-technical course. And in fact, we teach only one equation in this whole course. And that equation is literally performance equal to potential minus interferences. The course, Happiness, Habits and Success, the purpose of this course is to first have the conversation with students even before they've gone out to the real world and been conditioned by professional worlds of does success lead to happiness? Is it worth pursuing success continuously? In the assumption, the core belief that, oh, if I get there, then I will be happy. So let me be unhappy along the way. Before the course, uh, I believed that uh, happiness comes after success, but it's not the case. Actually, if we are happy early, uh, we can be successful. Um, well, I used to think that I could multitask and manage myself well. Personally, I actually fell down. Um, and I think after this course specifically, the way I look at myself now has been completely different. What we are doing is we equipping them with a bunch of tools to change how they are, how they feel so you know you become a happier person so the first thing that comes for that age group is you know things your habits so your exercise food habits sleep habits people learn the habits and practice them through the semester and ultimately see the benefits for themselves it is completely an interactive course a course where practice was given more importance than the grades we, in the first day of the class itself, we told them everyone can get an S grade. It shows you that you matter, like uh, your opinions matter, your voice is heard in this course. Uh, the other uh, couple of things that I really remember from this course is to see your life as a river. Yourself being an entity that has to surrender to that flow, otherwise life tends to go a bit on the sidelines. So uh, I live in London, by the way, and I'm the remote facilitator. Most of us who were facilitating this course, all of us were alumni and other alumni also joined along the way. Being an alum helps in the sense that you have an instant connect with the student. And we are about 15 of us now offering this course in pairs. And we started it in a modest way. We picked uh, about 30 students. Steadily, we have been progressing from 30 to today, we have 350 that we catered to. Of all the survey I did, one of the positive comments I received was that this happiness course has been very well taken and people enjoyed this course. So one day I was talking to director when director felt, oh my God, I went to a hostel and I found that uh, students were talking about this course. Why don't you make it a course that is available to everybody? As the course transitions into a core course, it will require many more facilitators, most of whom are expected to be IITM alumni. Maximum we need something like 100 students per class is what will suit this, not more than 100. So that means we need at least 25 teachers to teach this course. That is where we are reaching out to the alumni and other, any other people whom they can recommend, who can come here as guest faculty. As come to us and tell us that they are interested then we would talk to them and see if they are the right fit. Then we onboard them. How we do that is they observe a class, which is what I also did for a term. You should come in with an open mind, right? And I 
believe that I had an open mind, but I had no background in the subject at all. So that's why we ask you to be an observer for a semester, right? You then uh, decide for yourself because when you are teaching, you have to believe in the words that you are actually teaching. This is the biggest need of the institute today. Um, we need to address this very comprehensively and uh, if alumni comes, alumni and also some of their contacts would be passionate to do this if they come. I think that's going to be extremely important for us.